Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install the Virtuoso SG800 on your Mac. Uh, you're going to need two files. The first not file you're going to need is going to be the ICC profile. Now, we'll email this to you from our tech support department, so you'll have to request the ICC profile if you do not have it already. Um, once you get the email, just download the attached profile to your desktop. The second file you're going to need is going to be the driver file. Um, the driver file will be located on our website. It's currently not there, so I will show you where to find it. Once you go to condi.com, of course, the first thing you do is log into PartnerNet. And then from there, under printer support, there will be a listing for Sawgrass printers. Once you go into there, you'll go to the Virtuoso SG400 and then on to the printer driver's Mac and download the appropriate driver. Once you have the driver, first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the ICC profile where it needs to go. So I'm going to highlight the ICC profile, right click, and copy. And from here I'm going to click once on the desktop and then click on go, go to folder, type in a single forward slash, which is the same key as the question mark, and hit go. This takes me to the hard drive. From here I'm going to go to library, color sync, and profiles. Once I'm here, I'm going to click up on Edit and Paste Item. It's going to ask me for my password. You can enter this in. And then now you'll notice the profile is in this folder. Now sometimes there will be a shortcutted folder inside the Profiles folder titled Profile. If you see this, you want to go into that folder as well and paste the item in here as well. Once you see it show up in here, let's close this. And then we're ready to install the driver. Just double click on the driver. We're going to run the package. I agree. Install. It's going to ask me for my password again. We'll hit install package. And once this is finished, we'll close it out and then just connect the printer to the computer. Once you've connected it, you can go under System Preferences, Printers and Scanners and you will see the SG-800. Now if you have an attached bypass tray, you go under Options and Supplies, go to Options, and make sure Bypass Tray is checked. If you have the additional tray, you do the same thing with that. Once we have this installed, we're ready to configure everything. So We'll open our graphics software. Now for this demonstration, I'm going to be using Adobe Photoshop Elements. I had it open, so I need to close it and reopen it because I've installed the profile. So once we do that, we're going to open a new blank document. And then I'm going to go straight to the print dialog. We'll click on File and Print. The first thing we need to do is configure the color management in the print dialog. Now for Photoshop, you're going to see the color management settings on the right hand side here where you select the printer. Of course the first thing we are going to do is set it to the appropriate printer, the SG-800. On Adobe Illustrator, you're going to see menus on the left with an option for color management. In this case, you would click on color management and configure the color settings as I'm about to show you. Um, for Photoshop Elements, we're going to click on more options and we're going to go to color management. I want, you want to make sure that the pull down for color handling is set to let Photoshop elements manage colors. And again, for Photoshop, it would just say Photoshop manages colors. For Illustrator, it'll say Illustrator manages colors. For printer profile, we're going to come down and select the, Sagra, or the SG800 die trans high quality. and we want to make sure that the rendering intent is set to perceptual. Once we have these set, we're ready to configure the driver. Now in Photoshop, there's going to be a button up here that says more op or printer settings or print settings. You click on this to get to the driver page. In Illustrator, there's going to be a button in the bottom that either says printer or setup. You would click on that to get to the driver settings. In Illustrator, we're going to hit print and it takes us to the second screen. I'm going to ignore this print warning because it's a blank page. That's why we're getting it. Now 
All right, once here, we're going to come down. We're going to select. Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure the driver is mirroring. So we're going to check flip horizontal. Next, we're going to click on layout and go to setup. We're going to set the paper type to inkjet plain paper, high quality. And then I'm going to click on the arrow next to image adjustments. And we're going to set dithering to use error diffusion. Now, once we have these settings in, I'm going to select the preset pull down. Save current settings as preset. And I'm going to name this Condi ICC. And once we click on that, you'll notice you now have the Condi ICC option in the presets pull down. At that point, you just want to make sure this is selected and you would hit save or print. If I hit print from elements, it's going to try to print, so I'm just going to cancel out here. Uh, once you have this done, you're actually ready to go. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi, just give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for technical support, or send us an email to support at condi.com. Thank you.